Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Food Wars. Today we're doing UK, US versus UK Wingstop. I've never been to Wing... Well, I've, I don't... It's not a place I go to all the time, so... It's been a while, so I don't know what they have there. I mean, they obviously have wings, so... Yeah, but make sure you guys drop a like, comment, subscribe, and, you know, enjoy the video. From calorie count to portion sizes, we wanted to find out all the differences between Wingstop in the UK and the US. Oh my gosh. This is Food Wars. Portions in the UK, we can get wing portions in four sizes. Eight wings. Eight wings is the smallest? Ten wings. Choose six. Twelve wings. Or... A flavor craver wing platter, which comes with 24 wings and three dips. US wing stop, you can get your wings in 10, 15. Why do you have to troll, bro? What is that? I'm like, six? That's pretty, that's a lot. Bro talks about 10, like in, what? 20, uh, 30, hang on, and. 30. Not enough, you say? I agree. Wingstop also does wings in orders of... 50? 75? <laughs> I mean... And of course... 100. 100 chicken wings. I'm in heaven right now. Bury me in these wings. Dude, they look so good. I'm going in. Boy, man. Oh my gosh, bro. Eh, I could do better, but we gotta move on. You know, Sean Evans, I'm coming for you, buddy. So the portion sizes might be pretty different, but what about so the wings themselves? One. We're gonna weigh 10 plain wings in the UK and do the same in the US to see how they match up. Look at all that grease. So 10 plain wings in the UK came to 290 grams, which is an average of 29 grams per wing. Oh, way higher, dude. 360 300. grams. I needed my calculator app to what determine the what there, 360 bro. divided by 10 is. And it is, in fact, 36 grams. Wow. So our average is 36 grams per wing here in the US. What about chicken tenders? Well, in the UK, those come in two portion sizes. As a portion of three, or as a portion of five. And wing stop in the US, you can get your chicken tenders in orders of four, seven, 15, 20, and 30. Yes. I don't know what. Maniac is at a wing stop and gets chicken tenders instead of wings. I get it if you like take your like 10 year old there. Yes. Let's weigh five chicken tenders here in the US. Damn. <laughs> so five plain tenders in the UK weighs 230 grams. 200 what? Way over 300 on this one. We're over 300, and they try to pass this off as a tender. Bigger chunks of meat over here in the US. Bigger, tender chunks of meat. What about a side of fries? Well, in the UK, these come in two sizes. Regular and large. Large. And in the US, our Wingstop fries also come in two sizes. Regular and large. How those look? We're going to weigh them both I mean, to see what they come to. why do you go to Wingstop? You don't go to Wingstop for... That looks goofy. <laughs> that looks goofy, man. Come on, man. That's, 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 that's pretty look goofy. I mean, look, I mean, look at that, bro. That looks so goofy. I can't, dude. <laughs> I don't, how do I get this back in? <laughs> yep. Also a brick. Also a brick. Look at all that grease, And the man. large portion came to 255 grams. Our regular is bigger than your large, UK. Okay. Talking smack. Oh, lost fry. 400 grams. Fountain drinks in the UK come in one size. It's 22 ounces, but unfortunately we weren't able to get one today. 22 Wing ounces. Wingstop in the US, you can get fountain drinks in two sizes. 20 ounce. And... 32 ounce. The wing stop we went to did not have any 32 ounce cups. Dips in the UK only come in one size and it's regular. We're gonna weigh a cup of ranch to see how much we get. Dips in the US come in two sizes, regular and this absurd tub. Look at this. <laughs> I, bro, I, I, at this point, bro, I don't, 
don't know. America's drunk off its own, like, bro. You get a, you're getting high off of your own, like, bro. First, we're gonna wait. I don't know this why you would need regular maybe size. For, I can now the big boy. Party, I, I couldn't like, even bro, guess how much like, this container weighs. At that point, get a heart attack, bro. Before I do this, yeah. closer to 300. This is heavy. This is like half a bottle of ranch. <laughs> 400. <laughs> Bro, you're crazy. It is 440, 440 grams of, of ranch. Bro, so fun man. fact about me, I've never actually had ranch before. This is not a common dressing in the UK. Um, it's just not really on menus. We prefer like a garlic mayonnaise or a ketchup. So I'm about to try my first ever ranch. Really? All right. That's a crunchy. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I don't know if Wingstop Ranch differs to the classic ranch you might find in the States, but it's nice. If you want like a kind of cooling thing with a similar effect to mayo in that regard, but like a little bit more tang, a bit more seasoning. Yeah, you guys are doing it well. Thank you. The biggest thing on the menu in the UK is this, no? the Flavor Craver Wing Platter. You get 24 wings, three dips, and no other sides, all for a price of £22.50. $31. Biggest single menu item at the Wingstop in the- <laughs> Bro, no one's eating that. I don't know why they even put, why they always put that. Nobody's eating that. This is godly, okay, dude. Just can you imagine? Can you remember like a time like you when you were young, like 13, 14 or something, and then you were um, you brought your friends over, like a friend or two or three friends or whatever over, a couple of friends. And you guys are just like buy a bunch of like pizza and wings, and you're playing video games, watching movies, like eating popcorn. It's just like having the like the best Saturday night ever. Like Friday night, Saturday night, you're just done with school, and you're just like you're just like done with it. And then you just like you bring your friends over and you just have a game session and all these food, bro. This is what Wingstop reminds me of every time, bro. That's why I like it. It's like it has a special place, bro. The U.S. Like the is this, the 100 know? wing party pack. Okay, Anyways. obviously you start with 100 <laughs> wings. You can get up to six different flavors. I just got the same one. Four orders of large fries, four orders of veggie sticks, and eight How dips. much is that? This is supposed to feed 13 people, or like you and three of your friends. You can get both. That's what I just said! You and three of your friends, bro. That's what I just said, bro. Stop boneless playing or bone-in wings. If you go boneless, it's ninety-four dollars and thirty-nine cents, and if you go all bone-in wings, it's hundred and four dollars and nineteen cents. I gotta say, I'm generally a drums guy over a flats guy. I think drums it's just the, the shape is great. Go. It's just like a meat lollipop, and also weird, it feels bro. like you get more meat on there than you do on a flat. No, Harry. No, drums are not good. Flats are way better. Bro, you, pull you out let both me bones. down. You get all the meat off of it with a drum. It's way harder to get the meat up. Don't be deceived by that shape. It's less meat. Flats. Flats. Ah, flats is I'm a flat trash. head. Yeah, you are liking freaking flats. What a weirdo, bro. Here is everything you will only find on the menu at a UK wing stop. And here are all the exclusive items you can get at a US wing stop. We'll start with the chicken. There's actually one flavor of wing that we can get that you guys can't, which is this one. It's Brazilian citrus pepper. I'm gonna try the Brazilian citrus pepper using my patented wing eating technique. Get one of the bones up, and then a little neat lollipop. Mm. Nice little yeah, freshness from the citrus, bone, man. kick from that. the pepper. Finish it. Not bad. So for exclusive wing flavors, you can get these Sheesh. two, the Bayou Barbecue and the Lemon Hot. We can also get any Wingstop flavor on the side. I don't know if you can get that in the UK. Another thing you can do at the US Wingstop is you can customize your fries and you can get regular or extra seasoning. So I got an extra seasoning of a seasoning you guys don't have in the UK, which is the garlic parmesan. Look at the seasoning on this. I mean, they I just dusted this thing, there, right? Dude, you know this exactly is so unhealthy, it's like, yeah. bro. Yeah. These are Louisiana voodoo fries. That they are like topped it, with a cheese sauce, ranch, and Cajun seasoning. Our exclusive fry option is this, sweet potato fries. These come in sizes of regular or like large, that. and I you like can also that. get them in the same seasonings sweet as the regular fries. fries. The in my opinion, you guys aren't missing out on much with these. I just always think that sweet potato fries are worse than regular fries. They always cost more. They always come out soggy. It's just not worth it. Just stay with the regular. But it's nice. It's, I like sweet potato Outside fries. of meat and potato, you can also get 
Cajun fried corn, am I saying that right? It's fried? You can also what? get freshly baked rolls. Bread, baby. Bread. We also have yes. one other exclusive side, which is this. It's a honey mustard slaw. We can also get booze from our wing stops. This comes in the form of two types of beer, and usually we would be able to get two types of wine. However, due to a reduced menu, currently they're not serving them. The three drink options you can get in the U.S. are, oddly enough, sweetened and unsweetened tea. I don't know why we have tea in the U.S. I don't know why you would want unsweetened tea. You're kind of disgusting, and I might fight you. <laughs> UK does not. And also, no. you can get this 52 fluid ounce it's just simply lemonade. And I, I do what he's saying. I do hear what he's saying. Like, how do we have tea and they don't have tea? They're literally the UK. Like, they're known for tea. Like, Finally, in the what? UK, you can finish off your meal with some churros. These come in portions of either six or Please ten. You have two crumb options, including Oreo or Lotus Biscoff. And then you can choose from one of two sources either a sweet milk. Awesome dog has... de leche caramel. Bro, that looks like a clogged artery right there. Mm. I'm not even gonna lie. That's a clogged artery. What about desserts? Here's one you get in the US and not in the UK at a wing stop. The triple chocolate chunk brownie. Did I say that in the right order? Fantastic. I'm now gonna do something really stupid, which is attempt to eat the hottest wing on the wing stop menu, You're which so... is the atomic wing. These come with gloves just to avoid getting it on your skin and then getting it in your eyes. I'm not good with spice, one thing to note. Ah, man, I don't really want to do this, but hey, for the content, cheers. Yo, look yep, at this face. Media. Look at this head. Ah, oh, man. Terry's doing it. I'm doing it too. Where's your gloves? This is a hard. I'm not a tough guy with the heat. This is not that hot. He ate two? Yeah. It's not that hot. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to feel it. Yeah. Oh, my tongue's kind of starting to hurt. <sighs> What's what they do on the uh, on hot ones one? <clears throat> uh, yeah. Nutrition. There's Unfortunately, no nutrition. Wingstop doesn't There's disclose of any of its nutritional no information in the UK. They do disclose the nutritional information in the US, however, and there are some pretty interesting takeaways. Okay, let's start with this, the classic meal for one, an eight piece combo. I got four hot wings, four lemon pepper, regular fry, dip, regular Coke. This meal contains a total of 1,595 calories, along with a lot of your daily fat That's... and sodium allowance. That's Interestingly, if you get the fat calories along with- Bro, it's 2,900. What? With a lot That's of your daily fat and sodium allowance. Sodium. Interestingly, if you get the same meal but That's bonus crazy. wings instead, the calories go up to 1,711, roughly a 7% increase. Even more interestingly, the sodium in the meal rockets up to 5,258 milligrams, which is 228% of your daily allowance. So it looks like boneless wings are way saltier than bone in wings, but they do contain so slightly salt? less fat. What's the most calorific wing at Wingstop in the US? That would be the boneless garlic parmesan wing, which clocks in at 112 calories for just one. The saltiest wing on the menu is the boneless original hot wing. Now Why it's less calorific than the garlic parmesan, but just like five so of these is your entire much. daily sodium allowance. Bro, the tenders what? at Wingstop are, as you might expect, more calorific than the wings. The most calorific flavor in the US? <gasps> garlic parmesan, where have I heard that before? That's not the saltiest tender. That crown goes to the Cajun Spice Tender. With 775 yeah, milligrams of sodium. Just three of these is your entire daily allowance. I didn't come here to not eat chicken tenders. Mm. I mean, you're getting free food, so why not, you know? What about the dips? Well, the least healthy dip on the menu is this. It's honey mustard. Just a regular portion of this in the US contains 367 calories, 33 grams of fat, five grams of saturated fat, 682 milligrams of sodium, and a slightly alarming 17 grams of sugar. 
As for the rest of the menu, you really want to watch out for the fries. The most calorific single menu item on a Wingstop menu is a large portion of the Louisiana Voodoo Fries. This serving alone is 910 calories, which is almost half of your daily allowance. If you're looking to cut down on sodium, you might want to avoid the buffalo ranch fries. They're slightly less calorific than the Louisiana Voodoo fries, however they contain 2,880 milligrams of sodium. That's 125% of your entire daily allowance. In summary, Wingstop, maybe not the healthiest fast food chain. If you're looking to cut back on your sodium, definitely skip the boneless wings and maybe stick to regular fries and not the ones with these. Bro, if you're looking to lose weight or just like eat healthy, just go to salad and go. Literally just do it. Just do it. Bro, stop. Or just eat air, bro. Like, don't just become a pescatarian, okay? Now, sadly, along with the nutrition, Wingstop UK also doesn't disclose its ingredients. Wingstop also does not disclose its ingredients in the US. So what do we know about what goes into the chicken? Well, for starters, in the UK, the chicken is not organic and not free range. All the chicken they use in the UK is also halal, which means it's suitable for Muslim people to eat. Now, it is unclear if the US chickens are free range or organic. All Wingstop say that they expect their chicken supplier to conform with USDA, FDA, state and local regulations. However, they do not specify a grading, so for all we know, it could be grade C chicken, which can be misshapen, poorly fleshed, and, Jesus, and with no limit on the size, number of areas, or intensity of discolorations and flesh bruises. Wow, I wish I knew that a few minutes ago. <laughs> In better news, the fact that they refer to their tenders as tenders legally means that they have to at least be made of whole cuts of chicken breast and might be actual chicken tenderloins, which are in the inner pectoral muscles of the chicken breast. And that's pretty much all we can glean from the information that's publicly available. Why are you so sneaky, Wingstop? Is it because- I think they're doing something suspicious with that. And I'm not gonna do it. You know we'll eat it regardless? Correct. What the up? <laughs> I should have waited before I went to that second wing. <laughs> well, all right, guys. That was it. Uh, another new... Ooh, Shake Shack. Whoa. Next one? <laughs> all right, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.